everybody how are you all doing welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing well so i'm so excited i've got a feeling this is going to be like a super duper long video so i hope you're here for it i really hope you're here for the long video vibes but it's just basically going to be a vlog however there's going to be so much homeware stuff that i'm going to show you i have been literally collecting all the homeware stuff i've been buying and i haven't been putting it in its places yet because i've wanted to show you guys what i've been getting like this my friends is all homeware i have a cupboard full of it upstairs so we're gonna do a huge homeware haul and then throughout this vlog i'll be putting like all the homeware bits and bobs away as well so you're getting it all you are getting all the treats so i have to take my grandma to the doctor's today she has a blood appointment so i'm gonna take her there at 12 o'clock i've just been filming a campaign this morning i actually want to tell you about the campaign so they are working with me on instagram but they're not working with me on this video i've been using the bondi boost hair waver oh my god it is the best thing like look at these natural waves i literally look like i've just come out to say like i look like a mermaid it's so like you know i'm totally here for it so yeah anyway that's what i've been filming a campaign on this morning for instagram but i've been i've been using them about two weeks now and i honestly love them because i really like how you can like build the pressure up on them so like if you hold the clamp down for longer on your hair you get like a more beachy wave whereas if you want like a subtle one like what i tend to go for and what i prefer you just hold it really lightly on your hair and it just gives you like such a natural gorgeous wave like i just really think waving your hair is such an easy way to make it look like you've made the effort when you actually probably haven't because it's so easy just to like clamp your hair down anyway that's my story i'm gonna go make a coffee because i've only had one coffee a day and it's 12 o'clock and i've been up since what time did i get up i've been up since half eight and i've had one coffee headache will definitely be pending okay so mind the plug sockets because they are currently well pending to be changed but sean got me this as an anniversary gift and i haven't worked out how to use it yet so i'm gonna try and see if i can get it to work because i really want to try and have a coffee from it I'm not really sure. Should we just press on? Okay, ah, stop. Okay, guys, so I pressed this button that says a Roman. I'm not really sure what it's doing, but I have coffee in there and it's hot, so let's turn it off. Do I turn it off? I think I turn it off. wrong i can do it's going to be really hot isn't it that's good oh wow that's bloody beautiful mm, i like it okay so i'm just having my coffee and i'm also eating some mini oreos i love 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 oreos you know what i'm actually quite offended like, I'm sorry I offended the Oreo community because I used to say that I hated Oreos. I used to say they were the worst biscuits ever. I'd never actually bloody tried them. Or I mustn't have tried them because as soon as I went vegan and realised that they were, like, accidentally vegan and tried one, I ate the full packet. Moral of the story, Oreos are bloody delicious and I don't know why I thought they weren't. So, I'm eating my mini Oreos and then I'm having the coffee. And then I'm going to go upstairs and show you the bedroom furniture because I absolutely love it so much and I literally can't wait any longer. I need to show you it. Okay, so the room's still not like complete. We're still moving in, but these are the furnitures that we went for. Now, some might say they're quite basic and simple, but that's what we wanted in this room. We wanted to keep it quite like basic, simple and clean looking. And I felt like white was going to give with the best results for that. So this is our light, which I love this light. I still need to clean the ceiling. Haven't done that yet. All of the furniture that was selected from the bedroom is from Furniture Box. So I do have a discount code as well. Demi 10 will get you £10 off. I know it's not like the biggest discount, but every little helps. And um, they're really, really cheap prices anyway. Like they try to keep their prices 
like really cheap so it's best for obviously us as customers so they did very kindly gift us all of the bedroom furniture however i did buy my dining table and set from them as well because i love that product so much which you'll see that like probably in like an upcoming video like closer to moving in because the chairs are up and they are actually i'll show you them wait there my grandma loves them i love them but we haven't put the table up yet so these are the chairs that i went for which will be in the living room downstairs but they're just up here for now they're absolutely beautiful so this is what they look like i think the color was like beige or no it was actually called um cappuccino gray that was the color and then these are the gold detailing legs and the table that we got to match is a round glass table with gold legs it's honestly so pretty so they'll all be going downstairs they're from they're from furniture box but i paid for them but then they did gift me the bedroom furniture which i'm so grateful for because i honestly love it so much so thank you very much i do have a discount code and i'll have all the links below so we went for this set of drawers which is just a white set of drawers and it's four drawers so you've got the two smaller drawers and then the bigger drawers at the top but we do think we're going to relocate this to the spare room because we've decided we want to keep the main bedroom a bit more minimalistic so yeah i have got like knickers in here for now i decided just to put me knickers in not like you want to see me knicker draw but i'm showing you it anyway but like i said i think me and sean have decided between ourselves that we are going to relocate this but moving on to the main bedroom furniture that we are keeping in here is we both have a matching bedside table now i absolutely love these bedside tables like i just think they look so clean and fresh looking so you've got like a pocket here so you can store anything you want your book your, whatever you fancy and then you do have a drawer as well just looks like this so this is sean's side so me and sean have had the discussion and this is going to be his side of the bed i believe but yeah, this is going to be my side. As you can see, it's already a bit of a mess. I have been organising it. There's some empty boxes that I'm going to give to Sean to pack his room up. But this is the bed frame. It's absolutely beautiful. It's just this very simple white wood look. It's a double bed and we've got the four drawers. So I initially ordered the bed with two drawers, but then I decided we wanted four. So I actually paid for two more and got ordered, reordered them. But this is what they look like. And then you can just pull your drawers out. And then you just, yeah, put your stuff in. They're great. I just think it's great having under bed storage for like bedding or towels or anything that you feel you need. But I can't wait to get like our mattress and everything on and get the bed like dressed up. But this is my side. I already have put some like bedding in that in my first drawer. But I do want to rearrange it slightly. But yeah, this is the furniture. We absolutely love it. And I just think it's beautiful. It matches in. We are going to get some like other stuff in the room like prints and deco and i think we're going to have a telly at like the bottom of the bed maybe but it's not an immediate thing we're going to do but we do want to have a telly on that wall eventually i think but yeah once we get the deco and that in i think it'll just be super cute for now we've just got this which i bought sean on the windowsill and then our little anniversary cards but yeah looking kind of cute isn't it so i have also got some home stuff in another room which i'm going to show you now this is going to be Sean's games room. The lighting in here is atrocious. I'm really sorry. That's even worse. I think we're going to just like have it like that instead. But I have been using this as storage. Just until the house is a bit more spick and span. But I'm going to show you what I got in here. So the first thing that I got is this this is from um oh my god what well, it's the homeware store i think they're called on instagram but i'll have them linked below but this is a teddy fitted sheet for the bed and it's in this gorgeous brown color i absolutely love it the gifted is quite a few bits a few months ago i think it was like in the first lockdown and i've obviously kept some because i knew we were getting the house then i got what will i show you next so i got this set of tea towels from b m for 2 99 I just think they're so cute. It says home sweet home. So it's a three pack. So you've got like the home sweet home one. You've got a dotted one and then another like home sweet home one. But tea towels is a thing you need. So I got with some. The next thing that I got 
And so I actually bought this from B&M as well. It's a little storage basket. It was £8. It's a cotton and wicker striped basket. And it just says Native Tribe on it. But I just thought it would be so canny. I'll find something to store in it. And that's something I knew I would need it. Especially when we got the kitchen in. And I was putting everything in the kitchen cupboards. Storage was like a huge thing that I knew we needed. So hence why I bought a lot of storage things. So I bought this from TK Maxx before the closed. And it was 9 99 and it's one of them like decor trays. So with our sofa, we actually bought a matching, uh, what do you call it? Like a little stool thing that matches. So I want to dress this with like a gorgeous candle and stuff and this will sit on there. But I thought it was beautiful and it's actually really good quality. So I bought that. I then also have this, which is again from the homeware store that I talked about before. Sean is going to love this. He doesn't know I've got this and I can't wait to like show him. This is a Teddy Super Soft duvet set, but it's in white or like cream. It's absolutely the softest thing ever. It's so nice. So I got that as well. And then I got this laundry bag for the utility room. So this is just, um, it all comes out laundry in the wash. It's just a laundry bag. I just thought it'd be really good for like when I'm transporting the washing from the different rooms into the laundry room or the utility room. I'm, who am I, this American person? And then I also got some laundry bins for the bathroom. So there's one in the ensuite now, which is exactly the same as this one. So it's actually a black laundry basket actually i think it's gray yeah, it's gray but i thought they were black they actually look black they were very dark gray anyway these were 11.99 i bought two i bought one for the ensuite and then i bought one which i intended to put in the main bathroom but there's nowhere to put one in the main bathroom which is why what we this room's a mess i mean sh sean's just like using it as storage at the minute but this um is the main bathroom and i'm actually quite annoyed that there's nowhere to put a storage bin and uh, not a storage bin a laundry bin because like when i come out of the shower or when i come out of the bath i want to put one i mean i probably could squeeze one there near the sink but it would be a little like smug so yeah that's kind of annoying but eventually we would love to renovate the bathroom maybe like next year or something and have just a bath in here because i feel a shower a standing shower is unnecessary. We'll have a shower in the utility and we could get a shower that maybe goes like with the bath or something. And I just think it's wasted space having both of them in here. So that's future plans. The thing that I got is this mirror from B&M and this was £14. And it's just, you're going to focus? And it's just this huge round gold mirror. It looks like this. But I bought that, but then I've also bought several mirrors since then as well. So yeah that was that oh i actually bought another mirror for the walking wardrobe let's show you that i'm just going around all the rooms showing you what i've been buying the fans really annoying in this room yeah so this is the laundry basket once it's put up we've got one in the ensuite um it does look kind of grey but honestly it looks black in the shop but never mind mirror to be put up on the wall from b and m it was £18 and that's going to go on that wall there just so we have a mirror on the walk and wardrobe. I really wanted a bigger one but apparently that wall wouldn't hold a bigger one so I had to get the littlest one. So this is what we got. But the walk and wardrobe's looking good. Just waiting for Sean to move his stuff in really. Okay, I'm going to go downstairs and show you the rest of the stuff that I've been getting. If you see a little moving mouse in the back, it's just grandma. <laughs> She's sitting behind me. Okay, so... I got quite a bit of homeware stuff. I went a bit wild. Like, I feel like since buying the house, the exciting part for me was always homeware. Like, even before we confirmed had the house, I was buying homeware stuff. Shh, we'll not tell Sean that, but I was, okay? I was, like, sneaking in an odd mug here and there, sneaking in a little bit of bedding, knowing that I was going to be buying the house. Because that, that's, like, to me, the such exciting part. It's, like, home decor, choosing what mugs you want, choosing what knife and forks you want. Like, I find it all very exciting. The renovation side of it, not so much. Like, I didn't really enjoy the painting or anything like that, but... I got there in the end so i think it's from sheen homeware section because it's really affordable and i wanted a few bits off it so the first thing i got was just this leopard print pot pad and heat removing um like mitt for taking stuff out of the oven obviously you know that i love leopard print so this was going to be a must for me to be fair it's a little bit smaller than i thought it was going to be i thought the pad was going to be a lot bigger but never mind i actually do really like this so i got that then moving on from that i did buy this but i'm a little disappointed because it has cracked in the post but i just saw it on sheen and i thought it was adorable and it was only like four pound it was like a carton like a juice carton obviously it's got cows and cheese on it and 
and plant based so not ideal but I just still thought it was a really cute container um, and I thought it would be nice to keep juice or something in it but I don't know if you can see but down the front of it it has actually cracked so that's a bit unfortunate I might be able to get another one um, to replace it or something but yeah I got that so then moving on to what else I got from Shein so I really want I bought a bookcase for the living room and I really wanted some deco boots which I do plan on getting still but I saw this photo album which I thought would be so cute as a deco photo album so this is what it looks like it's just black with gold detailing on it that focus there you go so it's black with gold detail on it and it just says memories and storage and then I just love the detailing on it and this is what it looks like from the side if I was to store it that way or the back just has like this compass detailing on it and then it's just obviously got slots inside for all your photos so i would love to fill this with photos which i probably will do to be honest because upstairs on top of my packs unit i have so many photos so i'll probably go through and like put my favorites in here but mainly going to use this as decor in the living room is a little storage like decor book whoa so that is that i did buy some curtain ties because i had a bit of trouble with the initial curtain ties that i bought for the office so i got these i thought they were kind of cute they're gold curtain ties with subtle leaf detailing on them and they just look like this but i'm not gonna lie they're not the greatest um my curtains in here aren't very thick so i tried to put it on yesterday and it kind of just slid down it so that's not ideal so i think these are going to be another wasted product but the curtains i have in the living room are actually a bit thicker so i may be able to use these in the living room i'll have to test them out but i got these and the next thing i got is another little tray like the one i showed you upstairs like a little um deco storage tray so this one's from sheen i actually love this it's a cute size as well and it's got the wicker like texture to it and then just has the two little handles but i just love these and i think they're amazing for like deco and stuff like that so i picked up this one i then picked up some more curtain ties but so these ones are the little, um, I don't know what you call this, like rope, that's what they are. So these are just the little rope ties. So you stick, oh yeah, so you stick it in there and then you wrap it around twice, I think. Yeah, that's how you do it. And then obviously your curtain will be in there. But I actually really like these ones, but these were sold as separate, so I did buy two of them. I think these may go in the bedroom, potentially, or maybe the office. I haven't decided yet, but curtain ties is one of them things that I haven't had any luck with. I bought some for the office, and they were facing the wrong way, and it was an absolute shambles. I um, bought some for the upstairs bedroom, and they turned out not to be great. So hopefully this next set will be too good. I also bought these off Sheen, which I thought were going to be like a lovely bouquet of fake flowers is that all but they're just not as big as i thought they would be i mean they're beautiful like i love the color of them like this the yellow the sunshine and i think they're just really nice so what i'll probably do is get a little vase and have these maybe in like the passageway or just to brighten up an area because they are like really pretty looking and i think they could really like make an area look nice um with a little vase but this is what they look like they're cute aren't they they look lovely in a belly china vase if you want to have one mm. I have to see what they look like. I'm very particular on my homeware. I know you are, but you could have a look. Well, I'll have a look. Next bit that I got from Sheen. I actually ordered one bedding set, but they've sent us it twice. So this is a white and grey um, double bedding set. This is what it looks like. I absolutely love bedding, but it's got the Az Aztec um like pattern all over it um and it is like white and gray and i really do like the way that this looks but i'm not sure why but the scent is it twice so i have one for the spare room now as well which is quite good so the next items that i got are all from home bargains so i decided to pick up wrapping paper i've just been picking it up here and there so hopefully when it gets to christmas i don't need to buy loads of rolls of it but i really like this one it's silver with like christmas lights all over it i thought this was adorable and this was 99 pence for 12 meters and then i also got a candy cane striped one i couldn't resist i think this is gorgeous like this is such cute vibe i bought this which is a toilet roll holder and storage caddy and it holds up to four rolls and it's basically just a black metal one this is for the ensuite upstairs i was going to get one of the ones that you like stick onto the wall but i just thought this would be more practical because you could put it where you want it and i haven't got much space there so i really like this is two bath mats now i was going to get different ones but honestly i love this one so much i just thought you know i'm gonna buy it twice this is from home bargains i'm not exactly sure how much they were but it won't have been too much this is the super soft bat math non-slip and um they're quick drying 
but it's white and it's just got the little little knobbly bits all over it so that's what it looks like so i got one for the ensuite when we're in the shower and stuff and then i did buy one for the main bathroom as well it's a plate set a dining set a dinner set whatever you want to call it oh but they're just white um it's pretty basic it's just a 12 piece set of white dinner plates um so you get four dinner plates four side plates and four bowls but yeah this is it's quite heavy but this is what it looks like and it's just because we've just had the storage the storage it's just because we've just had the kitchen fitted and i didn't have any plates or bowls or anything so i needed to pick some up I'd like to get some more fancy ones for like christmas with like deco and stuff on it but for now i wasn't too fussed about it i then bought some more towels because we need a lot of towels this is the home collection luxury 100 percent cotton towel and this is um just a white one that i got from home bargains and if i believe rightly i think this was 7.99 bought this dark gray one as well which again it's just the exact same but in a different color and then actually i bought two of the gray ones because we don't really have that many towels i have one or two but not a great deal of them did buy some like little more fancy bowls so i got this little half bowl i just thought it'd be really pretty like when i get into like using my food instagram again i just thought this would be really pretty to like make the food look pretty so i got a little heart bowl and then i also got this bowl i actually bought two of these but one of them cracked accidentally so this is what it looks like it's just white but it does have a gold rim around it and i did think they were really pretty so i got two of them and bought some tea towels because we had none at all so i got these these are the terry tea towels and it's just a pack of two and one just says kitchen um and i think the other one is just stripey so i got them i then also got these tea towels so these are the large this is a large tea towel pack you get two in and they're just gray navy and red striped so if you don't know my kitchen is navy so i thought they matched in quite nice and then i did buy like this cheaper navy set so these are just open kitchen towels it's a seven pack and these are actually navy so i thought these would be ideal so i'm stocked up on the tea towels that's everything in that bag the big thingy of kitchen roll you go through it quite quick so i got that and then i got this so this is just another set of knives and forks and cutlery because we didn't have none like we were literally starting from the beginning we had nothing so i needed to buy everything and then i just got some storage baskets because we needed a lot of these and i find like i said earlier when i'm putting stuff in the cupboards and things like these just come in so handy to store things oh they're stuck together there so this is what they look like these are actually classed as the small size but i think they're quite a decent size to be fair um so these are them and i actually purchased three of these they weren't expensive they were like 149 each it was so affordable two christmas bowls because i didn't want to get to christmas and not have a christmas bowl so these are so cute they've just got snowflakes on them ah they're adorable so i bought two of these one for me one for sean okay the next thing i bought is some toothbrushes i actually bought these for cleaning purposes because i started using one to clean the grout between the towels in the bathroom between the tiles in the bathroom and it was the best thing ever like they were so good so i thought i would just get some more for all my cleaning needs and then i actually got this little bin so this will be for one of the toilets downstairs and it is a little pedal bin it's just black there's not really much to it but it's just a little black pedal bin i then also bought this which matches the pedal bin obviously it's just a toilet brush so this is for one of the toilets upstairs there is a one in the downstairs toilet but i don't really like it so i think i'm going to replace it with this one i bought a one from tk max ages ago and that's currently in the upstairs um on suite so i think i'll keep that one in there and use this one downstairs back storage basket so these are the large oh no these are actually medium so you can get bigger than this and these are quite big but these are the black ones honestly like these baskets i didn't realize how many of them you needed and how handy they were because even when i was putting stuff on the shelves in the pack unit i didn't want to just like put stuff on the shelf i felt like it all needed to be in a basket or something so hence why i bought loads of them for the kitchens i just think they're so convenient and handy so i do like to have a lot of them storage baskets an air freshener this is the let it snow vanilla neo neo no vanilla no um, lab, um air freshener i've got a cleaning cupboard in the utility and honestly like i'm just obsessed with it i never thought i'd be the type of person who would get excited about cleaning products or having a cleaning cupboard but i am that person i am adult and i'm very excited about it so 
The next things are just a few DIY bits that we needed. So we need some silicone. We're going through it quite quick. So I bought one silicone. So I actually bought two silicones, not one. And then I bought this, which is actually the liquid nails. We've been using this quite a lot as well for like skirting boards and other things. So yeah, I got some of the liquid nails. And then I also bought another Sephora. Couldn't help myself. This is the winter morning Sephora. And I just thought, you know what? I want it to be a winter morning. I want to smell like a winter morning. So all this cleaning stuff's making us want to it clean. Okay, the next thing I got is just a mat for in the utility. So this is the Mighty Magic Mat and it's an extra large size. So this is just for when people come in the back door to wipe their feet, to keep the floors nice. And then I got, ah, don't fall. And then I also got another one as well for the front door because I have one outside of the house, but I don't have any inside. So I bought two of these. I never use sugar on anything. Like I never ever put sugar on anything, but a lot of people do and I don't want to be one of them people who when someone asks for a coffee with sugar I don't have sugar to give them so little bin for one of the bathrooms this one's just kind of got more of a texture to it and you just press the little pedal Ta -da! so yeah this is quite cute this is a 6.5 pedal bin um, and this was from home bargains as well and so let's head over to the range brum 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 pull up put the handbrake on oh we're at the range okay what did we buy in the range well we bought some good stuff in the range so the first thing i've seen this i honestly right just fell into the marketing scheme of this but i thought you know what i'm gonna try that so this is the two day dry wash spray so apparently you don't need to wash your clothes you can just use this and then i don't know what you meant actually do with it it's quite fresh it's especially form formulated for most shirts blouses trousers and skirts oh so it says to lay the garment flat on bedding spray evenly about 30 centimeters from the garment hand smooth any creases and hang up for 15 minutes oh so you're not meant to spray it while it's on your body but i just did but this is interesting so I'm all for the easy options of things in life, so I thought I would get that. I'm just going to have a little sip of my coffee. Into the range. I got this thing, and I really, really, really love it. This was in the range. Now, I don't know. It was 5 99 I was going to say I don't know how much it is, but there's a sticker on the bottom. It was 5 99 This is what it looks like. It is just a vase, but it's quite big. Like, it's quite a big vase, and it has this textured like detailing on it and this is the inside of it. it actually looks pretty grim on the inside but i think it's just like the pattern of it but i think this is the most gorgeous vase ever like i wanted one of these for so long and i just feel like everywhere i've been going the home deco hasn't been like top notch like you can get good home deco but it hasn't been like it but the range did have more stuff that i wanted and this is one of them i think it's the most beautiful vase ever like i fell in love with it so this is a vase and we're gonna name her sandra i don't know maybe sandy i think sandy's a better name but i love it anyway okay the next thing that i got is a little christmas bauble because i love this this is all i want for christmas and it was 1.99 and it just looks like this but it's like the traditional christmas colors green and red so thought you know i need that it's just this i'm gonna use this for deco and put like smelly stuff in it so this was four pound 99 i then also got this um so then i also got this to add to like deco somewhere for the christmas it's just like a scent bag with all the bits in it it smells really nice it smells like cinnamon mm, and it's just got like a mix of like pine cones in it and like little bits and bobs so i got this and then I also got this green garland. It doesn't have any lights or anything on it. It's quite a basic one. But I just thought it would be really nice wrapped around the stairs. And then I could also maybe wrap some lights on it. And it wasn't expensive. I think that was like £2. Another bag of um, pine cones. I love the look of pine cones. And I thought they'd go really nice in that glass bowl that I've just showed you. Which I don't know where I've put. But these would look really nice in that glass bowl. And they're kind of like slightly like sprayed. So they've got like silver on them. And they do smell. 
they've got really nice fresh scent to them so i got them as well but yeah this is everything that i got as you can see i've been spending that money i've been buying stuff but to be fair it is all necessity stuff in my opinion like obviously some of it is more deco but you need deco in a room anyway like a room isn't complete without a bit of deco i'm not gonna end this video here though i'm gonna like keep yours on because i'm gonna obviously be putting the stuff away around the house so there's some bits that i want to show you it when it's actually in its place okay guys so i've put majority of the stuff that i wanted to like put out in its places out and i wanted to show you some of them this is the front door mat i really like it it's actually super soft but yeah i really like it so this is my front door mat this is the back door mat and it actually fits perfectly at the back door and i really like it because it matches in with my utility this is what it looks like it was actually labeled as navy but it's kind of like navy and black but it's really cute so yeah and then i've also put this laundry bag up as well because i just thought like i want to have a place where i can like put laundry in the laundry room or the utility room so here it is so i've put this mat here this is the first bath mat these are the softest things ever so this is in the main bathroom i have a few things that i need to sort out in the room because and actually in the ensuite and uh, not the ensuite the walk-in wardrobe so I'm just going to sort these out, prance around. Here's the day I'm going to light my first candle in the house. So this wicker basket that I have here, which I actually love this basket, is all of my candles and reed diffusers. Well, actually, my reed diffusers are downstairs, but I don't know why that one is upstairs. That one needs to go. I have to keep my candles up here. Look at my candle collection. This is a dream. And then I have this one on here which I got in Primark, but I think it's time to light my first candle in the house because I haven't done it yet. Remember the scent of it? But it's so pretty. <gasps> oh, yes. Current update, I'm building the Ikea drawers. So basically, this is how my PAX unit looks at the minute. I have drawers here, but these are the big drawers. So these are the 75 centimetre drawers. So I wanted some of the 50 centimetre drawers for here. So I bought five. So I am just trying to make them up. And I am just watching and listening to a bit of Ewan, Mr. Carrington. If you don't know who he is, you definitely need to know. And you definitely need to go over and watch his videos. I'm just currently watching his Poundland haul. I've just binged his Come Shop With Me. So yeah, I'm just watching a bit of Ewan. I have actually, I've actually met him before and he's a really, really lovely person and i really love the content that he produces as well um he does some amazing like really budget friendly diys anyway so i'm just building up my drawers and then i'm going to rearrange the packs units a bit because i want to put my drawers in here so i want to have three in there and move that pole up and then i want to have two in there where then pink boxes are and then i want to move these three drawers down to the bottom so there's no gap and then yeah just have a bit more room so Probably a long even rearranging. absolutely hours since i started this task but my friends we are done the candle is still lit life is good so as you may notice here i've moved these drawers down so there's now no gap at the bottom because honestly there was nothing really to put in there and then i've added my 50 centimeter drawer here and then my 250 centimeter drawer here and then i just have shelving space so now i'm going to sort out the stuff that were on the shelves um so i'm going to sort out them pick boxes and sort out like the hair stuff that i have but jesus that took me a good long time to be fair um i got the flow of how to like make the drawers up quite quick but then like rearranging and unscrewing everything but i have got the hang of using this so let's just say i'm now diy queen demi okay guys so that's gonna end this video i'm just gonna edit it now i really hope that you enjoyed this more chill vlog and just to let you know i am back to uploading three videos a week on this main channel and two videos on my second channel because i missed you and two videos a week just wasn't cutting it for us so yeah i really hope you enjoyed and i'll see you very shortly for another one bye <laughs>